dear students under the topic rank correlation here we have the second problem this is one of the significant problem that has appeared in many question papers so the question is 10 competitors in a beauty contest are ranked by three judges in the following order so we have 10 competitors and there are three judges the first judge has ranked those 10 competitors in this order that is 1 4 6 3 2 9 7 8 10 and 5 in a similar way the second judge has ranked those same 10 competitors in this order and the third judge has ranked the same 10 competitors in another different order so there are three different orders by which three judges have judged the beauty contest now these 10 competitors are um, ranked by these judges and we have to use the method of rank correlation coefficient to determine which pair of judges have the nearest approach to common taste in beauty that is we have to find the rank correlation between the first judge and the second judge and then we have to find the rank correlation between the second judge and the third judge and then we have to find the rank correlation between the first judge and the third judge so in this way we will be having three uh, three uh, types of rank correlation now the value of the one whichever is higher will give us the nearest approach to common taste in beauty among the judges so we are checking whether the first judge and the second judge have the common taste of approach or the second judge and the third judge have the common taste of approach or whether the first and the third are having the common taste of approach the, this only we are going to find for that we will be finding the rank correlation between judge 1 and judge 2 and then also between judge 2 and judge 3 and also between judge 1 and judge 3 and among the three values whichever gives us the higher rank correlation value that will be those two judges will have the nearest approach to common taste in beauty so this is this will be the pro method of solving the problem now to find the rank correlation we must use the formula of Spearman rank correlation which I have already given, given in our previous video. So if the ranks are not repeated we have to use that formula. So if we check here the ranks among the first judge is not repeated and the second judge is also not repeated and the third judge is not repeated. So if the ranks are not repeated then the formula that we use is given by row equals 1 minus 6 summation d square divided by n multiplied with n squared minus 1 where d represents the difference between the values x and y and n represents the number of observations now here in this problem n represents the number of competitors and there are 10 competitors and so the value of n is equals 10 what we shall do we shall take the judges the first judge the ranks of the first judge as x and the ranks of the second judge as y and the ranks of the third judge as z so we have x y z where x represents these values y this and z these values now we will represent the rank between the first judge and the second judge as row 1 and the rank between the second judge and third judge as row 2 and the rank between the first judge and the third judge as row 3 so um, you, so we have to find row 1 row 2 row 3 which are the ranks okay so that will be the problem so first we shall do the tabular column where we will be finding the differences now the difference between the first judge and the second judge will be represented as d1 second judge and third judge as d2 and the difference between the first judge and the third judge will be represented as d3 so i will show that for you in in a form of a tabular column 
so now if you see here i have taken the values of x along the first column the values of y along the second column and the values of z along the third column that is this is the first judge second judge and the third judge now first we are going to find the difference d1 so d1 represents the difference between the first judge and the second judge so d1 equals x minus y so how we will find that what is 1 minus 2 it is minus 1 so that minus 1 we have to write here next is 4 minus 6 which is minus 2 then 6 minus 5 which is 1 and then 3 minus 4 which is minus 1 and then 2 minus 7 which is mi minus 5 9 minus 10 will be minus 1 7 minus 9 which is minus 2 and then 8 minus 3 which is 5 and then we have 10 minus 8 so 2 and 5 minus 1 which is 4 so now we have found the difference d1 next the difference is d2 we have to find d2 so difference between y and z is uh, d2 now we have to find the difference d2 so it will be 2 minus 3 so which will be minus 1 then 6 minus 7 so minus 1 5 minus 4 is 1 4 minus 5 so minus 1 7 minus 10 so minus 3 and then 10 minus 8 so 2 9 minus 9 is 0 3 minus 2 which is 1 8 minus 6 so 2 and finally 1 minus 1 is 0 so now we have found all the values of d2 next we have to find the values of d3 d3 is what d3 is the difference between first judge and the third judge so it will be x minus z and so that will be 1 minus 3 so it will be minus 2 4 minus 7 so minus 3 6 minus 4 so 2 next is 3 minus 5 so minus 2 2 minus 10 so minus 8 9 minus 8 so 1 7 minus 9 so minus 2 8 minus 2 is 6 10 minus 6 is 4 and then 5 minus 1 is 4 after finding d3 next we have to find the square of d1 d2 and d3 and we have to write here so what is the square of d1 so minus 1 square that we have to write here so which is 1 minus 2 square so it will be 4 then 1 square so 1 and then minus 1 square so 1 minus 5 squared which is 25 and then we have minus 1 so 1 minus 2 squared is 4 5 square is 25 2 square is 4 and then finally we have 4 so 4 square is 16 so this is d1 square now here we have to find d2 square so minus 1 square is 1 1 and then 1 square is 1 then minus 1 square so 1 and then we have minus 3 square so 9 and then 4 square is um, 2 square is 4 0 and then 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4 and finally 0 square is 0 and then we have d3 square so the square of this column so minus 2 squared will be 4 3 square is 9 2 square is 4 and then again 2 square is 4 8 square is 64 and then 1 square is 1 2 minus 2 square so 4 6 square is 36 and then we have 4 so 4 square is 16 and at last again 4 square which is uh, 16 so this is 16 now we have to sum up all the values of d1 square in order to find summation d1 square similarly summation d2 square and summation d3 square so that is uh, for this i will show you we have to add all these values so it will be 1 plus i mean uh, already if you see here 
it is uh, 5, 6, 7 and 7 plus uh, 25, 32 and 32 plus 1, so 33 and uh, plus uh, these values. So 33 plus 4 plus 25 plus 4 plus 16 and finally we get the value to be 82. So summation d1 squared is 82. In a similar way we have to find summation d2 square and summation d3 square. So I will find and I will write this uh, answers here. So after finding all that we obtain summation d1 square as 82, summation d2 square as 22 and summation d3 square as 158. Now using these values we have to find row 1, row 2, row 3. The rank correlation between the uh, each judges respectively and we shall check for the ranks. So now we shall find the rank row 1 which is between the judges first judge and the second judge. So this is between first judge and the second judge. So rank row 1 which is equals the formula is 1 minus 6 summation for them the difference is d1 we have taken. So d1 square divided by n multiplied with n squared minus 1. And so that will be equal to 1 minus 6 multiplied with what did we obtain summation d1 square as we have obtained the summation d1 square as 82. So this value so that 82 we have to take and substitute. So multiplied with 82 divided by so this division is only for this term. Okay, remember students, you should put only for this. And so uh, that is uh, n multiplied with. So n is 10. 10 multiplied with 10 square minus 1. And so that will be equal to. So that's equal. Uh, 1 minus 6 multiplied with 82. So that is equal to 492. Divided by 10 multiplied with. 10 square is 100, 100 minus 1 is 99 and so that will be equal to 1 minus 492 divided by 990 and so the answer will be uh, that is equal to what is uh, 492 divided by 990 so that is equal to this one. 0 0.4969 so 1 minus 0 0.4969 so the final answer will be equal to so 1 minus here we have 0 0.4969 so 0 0.4969 and so that is equal to 0 point we will take uh, three numbers after decimal so 0 0.503 so the answer is 0 0.503. So this is row 1. That is the taste between the judges. Uh, I mean the rank correlation between the judges 1 and 2. In a similar way we have to find the rank correlation between the judges 2 and 3. So for 2 and 3 it will be row 2 which is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d2 square. Okay it will be d2 square divided by n multiplied with n squared minus 1 and so that's equals 1 minus 6 multiplied with what is summation d2 squared we have calculated that, that to be 22 so multiplied with 22 divided by already this uh, 10 multiplied with uh, 10 squared minus 1 we have evaluated here which is 990 so that one directly we can write so 6 multiplied with 22 equals 132 so 1 minus 132 divided by 990. So that's equals 1 minus. What is 132 divided by 990? And uh, that is equal to 0 0.1333. So we can take that. 1 minus 0 0.1333. And so, so that will be 1 minus... 0 0.1333 and the answer is equals 0 0.866 uh, but I can just round it round this and we can I can take it as 0 0.867 so this is the rank correlation between the judges um, 2 and 3 so that is row 2 
so this is between first judge and the second judge this is between the second judge and the third judge in a similar way we have to find row 3 so i have calculated the value of row 3 so i have obtained it to be 0 0.043 and which is the rank correlation between the judges 1 and 2 so this is between 1 uh, 1 and uh, 2 this is between 2 and 3 and this is between 1 and 3 okay not uh, 1 and 2 this is between 1 and 3 so we have found the uh, um, rank correlation and if you see which value is the highest among all these three values we observe that row 2 is the highest value it is between which uh, which of the two judges the second judge and the third judge so they both have nearest approach to common taste in beauty so therefore the conclusion is the judges uh, second judge and the third judge have the nearest approach to common taste in beauty so that is the conclusion of the problem so i have taken here and i have written and i have concluded the problem that is since the rank correlation coefficient between the judge y and the judge z is positive of course all the three rank correlation were positive but it this was the highest among the three coefficients so judges y and z that is the second judge and the third judge have the nearest approach for common taste in the beauty. So hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.